Antonio must be killer in bed, honestly, because this girl don't, I don't even think she likes him. We know she doesn't love him. We know she doesn't respect him. Interesting. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Talia Adewele and this is This by Dem. I am, honestly, I contemplated if I was going to do the <laughs> final video, if I was going to do a review or reaction, like what I was going to do because this was such a dumpster fire. Um, and these couples were just, I'm not saying the individuals themselves, I'm saying them as couples, they were just dumpster fires. I just can't. Like, this is why i don't like this show and honestly this is what probably going to be the last time that i cover the ultimatum because it's just not working i'm going to be watching on 1.25 speed people that's just how i watch things I don't understand why people hate on Nick and Vanessa. I like them. I'm putting out there, I like them. So who's gotten married? Who's called it quits? And no. who's surprised pregnant? Anyone? Anyone? Well, thankfully. Oh, shade. Oh, they did bring them out. Okay. 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 Well, um, we she was pregnant. To a baby boy. Aww. Beautiful. Baby oh, wow. Boy. You look great. Congratulations. Congrats. Congratulations. And he's seven she really now, was. So Honestly, I thought it was a lie. We've enjoyed being parents. Um, the whole world thought it was fake, so. I used to work at Hooters, um, oh, so I thought that was surprising when you want to say Hooters, bitch. Um, I think you kind of used that to pretty much. It was yeah. Just it was tasteless. I didn't appreciate it. Minimize. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Lisa! And it's just like, you. it just seems like you were trying to put down another woman because you were upset, and I did not appreciate that at all. I don't care. Um, Yes, Raya. You also worked at Hooters. I don't regret what I said. Oh! Because I didn't base my assumption off of her job. I based it off of how she was acting. Lisa! Because for me, I felt like if you are in love with someone that you came here with, you're not seeing someone and you're thinking, oh my God, he's hot. He makes me hot. Well, okay. It was the question. I, I'm talking. But so for me, oh! like, okay, are you really here? Because I felt like Trey was a great catch. I'm like, he's this, he's that, he's ready to marry. Why aren't you ready to marry him? Mm. I'm like, at the time, I felt like she doesn't love him. I gotta pause. I gotta pause. Because look, on one hand, Lisa is making sense. But on the other hand, I'm like, girl, just apologize. Just say, I apologize for calling you a hooders bitch. But I stand by what I was feeling in that moment. And then give this explanation because her explanation is not wrong. Because I felt the same way. I was like, Raya, what exactly are you looking for in this? Do you really love Trey? Are you just looking to boom boom and then go back to this man who has everything just waiting for you on a silver platter, you know? But I don't respect, I do not appreciate the way Lisa has handled this whole, whole situation. I don't appreciate that sisters are fighting. That is what prompted me to take a pregnancy test because yeah. I felt so not myself. And I was like, something is off, something's wrong. Mm. That happened that night. And I was like, I eh, I the way Brian accepted that situation, I, I doubt like, it. Not that it excuses my behavior at all, but it definitely made me realize that this is why I'm mm. acting psycho. She's saying that she was hormonal, so that's why she was acting crazy. But then saying that she doesn't regret what she was saying because she stands by it. It's 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 misleading. It's it, I don't understand, Lisa. Make it make sense, Lisa. Oh my god. Roxanne and Antonio. <laughs> Roxanne, last time we all saw you, Antonio was down on one knee. He proposed, and you said yes. Mm -hmm. Barely. Barely? It's a different level. The leagues. It's a different league. Yeah. Why is he rolling uh, his eyes? We're still not we're not there. You know, I still am definitely the provider. Oh, Roxanne. And that's tough. They should not be together. They do not look happy. Do you feel like there's room in your life for both a marriage and your career? Um... I don't think there is room. Even he doesn't believe it. He's shaking his head. Marriage. No. How quickly after the engagement did you take it off? I think like the next day. Yeah. So would you do it? Would you marry this man? Um, it's just not top of mind right now for me. Oh. Yikes. Yeah. Antonio, would you marry her right now? Yeah, I would. So would you do it? Would you marry this man? Um. It's just not top of mind right now for me. Yeah. Antonio, would you marry her right now? Yeah, I would. What is he doing? Uh... You two are getting married. So give us the details. What's happening? Yeah. It's planned May 10th next year. Okay. 
So, was that eight months, give or take? That's crazy. Oh, they that. already planned it. Oh, wow. <laughs> they haven't been sent out. They haven't sent out. Oh, it's okay. the magnet. So, yeah, it's yeah, the magnet. Aww. Well, congratulations on the date. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank yes. You. He looks different. I mean, just hearing you cat say, like, he has been more aggressive since the engagement. He's talking about baby fever. To me, that's wild, because on our dates, like, Don't interject, babies, like, Roxanne. You know, like, we joked about having, like, 12 kids. You know, so we were talking about that stuff. You're not doing anything for yourself, Roxanne. Shut up. Versus, you know, it's, we, versus, we get to go do that. Yeah, to... versus a joke of, let's have 12 kids. Ooh, she called it a joke, cats! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love it! I mean, I just, I feel like I see through bullshit. So, and in my opinion, oh. it hasn't changed. I don't regret anything that was said or done at all. I have no idea. She is salty. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Here's Alex. Questions here, though. I don't know at all if you do, but he's not a genuine person, and it has like broken my heart almost to feel like you are with someone like Alex. But I'm kind of feeling like this isn't from a good intent, so I don't want to talk about it. Good. Good cats. I'm sorry, Roxanne, but like you don't know me, and but you good cats. Like girls' night with a bias towards Alex and just bias towards our situation. So everything I said, it wasn't anything you said wasn't out of good intention. Yes. Actions speak Action louder, speak than, louder words. than words. Just the way I, things that you were saying to me, I felt like they were lies and they were. Oof. I mean, these just feel like such cert, like not real apologies when like I'm. And Let like it go, like, Roxanne. Oh, like, really sorry for this or I am sorry for certain things. And you guys are just like, sorry for being an agreeable listener. And it's just. It doesn't feel real. What's the point of going back and forth? What is Roxanne's problem exactly? She seems really salty. Did she really want Alex? And then maybe footage that we didn't know because they don't really show us everything, right? I'm just psychoanalyzing right now. Maybe he clarified that he was in this to see how a trial marriage would go without Kat. And that Kat was his ultimate decision. And that set Roxanne off because she was all for all for Alex from the beginning. Like she wanted to get into this man's bed willingly so what exactly changed you very excited the day you got engaged did we already miss the wedding actually we're thinking about a destination wedding um spring of 2025 he's gonna get here 2025 you know, I said I in my previous trial marriage you know james said well trey wants to be fully in this experience i don't think you should be with trey and then pretty much mm. insinuated to trey that i'm i shouldn't be with him and we shouldn't be together so it was just yeah like, everything was against them that that's true that was that's true i was one time, of them i didn't really going into the experience i had a lot of the same questions as y'all had i was yeah yeah, because mm -hmm. I was like, she don't, she's never initiated I, at the time. She had never initiated I, and I love you. So I had those questions in my head, too. I'm like, does, does, like, does she really love me? So coming here was... <laughs> He's so <sucks. laughs> That was hilarious. Did you guys connect after the proposals? Did you ever call each other? Their partners no, will lose I their mind. I mean, after everything, I was more so mm. trying to focus on our relationship. And I already knew if, if that was even a thought, that was going to sit back. Yeah. Yeah. Years. Yeah. You know and what I mean? So I don't want to like come in between that. Thank you for sharing everything with us. Um, yeah, so I wasn't really sure if uh Raya's baby was with Trey. Um it, that was a sad situation. I really felt that when she said that, so I felt bad. I don't know what it is. I like her, I think she's gorgeous, I think she's intelligent too. I just don't fully buy that the emotions are there. I don't buy that the emotions are there for half of them. The only person who's managed to like turn my mind is Alex because he seems a lot more engaged with Kat. So I'm wondering if throughout the entire experience he was just uncomfortable. Maybe. Right? I just, I don't know. He seems different. He seems like a better person than Kat. So I guess maybe, <laughs> maybe Roxanne brought it up to him. She, I don't, I don't particularly like. I will never meet her, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't like her with Antonio. I think that they both deserve different. James, your journey on the ultimatum was incredibly emotional, but it ended on the highest of highs when you got down on your knee and proposed to Ryan. And now that you're <sighs> engaged, are y'all finally living together? So, we are living together now. James ended up moving in with me, so, and my parents and my siblings, oh. so we have like a health pool right now. There you go. What are you about to do? <laughs> what is happening? I feel like James is a very giving person. This is why. We went from middle of a budget. I think that's perfect. 
Well, I'm right. <laughs> Never used one. I think it goes in your yes, pee hole. Yes, it goes in the end of your dick. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, here comes. Here is, okay. Wait, how did you know this? We have not done that either. I didn't know it. No. Yeah. She's a nurse. We have yep. not done that, though. Wow. I love the cat. We one of the most reserved, it. if not the most reserved person this entire season is the one to do with a sounding rod. Yeah. That's funny. I also noticed that Raya, no, Cat is not as high strung. I think these people were just stressed out during, during the filming, honestly. That's what I'm getting from this entire situation. But James... This is it. This is why. Like I said, a lot. I didn't understand why a lot of people are holding on to these relationships. This is why Ryan did not want to let James go. The trial wife to James, and he, you. I he know he couldn't even want to hug her. Did you about hot wax and handcuffs? <laughs> oh, damn. Did you know this side of him? Did he ever? I, um, there was that one time he did tell me about like a bondage. We could take a quiz. They're like, what kind of bondage person are you, or something like? So we did that. Thank you so much, yeah. James and Ryan, for being vulnerable. For showing everyone what this journey can be and how in the end it has worked and we are so excited for your upcoming wedding congratulations all right final thoughts so i think the best people coming out of these this are alex and kat and um james and ryan because technically they, they're the only ones who have actually set a wedding date right plus they are the only ones that i've seen who have actually grown since the show the show was definitely extra stressful. I can tell by how all of them look right now, especially Kat. Like Kat was always like, almost like everything was pulled tight. And that's what I kept saying, that she looks high strung. Do you look high here? Yeah, like looking gorgeous. A gorgeous woman that she is. Relieved, happy. Even Alex looks very relaxed and happy. Like you can just tell. Am I going to do ultimatum again, people? No, I have no more comments on this show. I might watch Queer Love, but honestly, Based on this, probably not. I think I'm just going to skip it all together and watch Love is Blind. And maybe even Love is Blind is on its last rope, honestly. The only Love is Blind that I've enjoyed so far is Love is Blind Brazil. So um, we'll just have to see. But the reunion ended up being good. There were very spicy moments. There were like just shut up and move on moments. And then there were tender moments. And James having a dark side is like, hey, okay, I'm gonna, look. Whatever you got to do to keep that marriage spicy, you do you. You do you, boo. You do you. I, I love it for them, honestly. Absolutely, 100%. I like it. Um, Nick and Vanessa let them talk. Even when they were arguing, they just let it play out. And honestly, I like them as hosts. I don't know why I'm saying the word honestly so much. But I like them as hosts. And yeah, the reunion was definitely the best part of the entire thing. I should have just skipped and watched the reunion <laughs> alone. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be editing for the reunion. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that watch with me. Um... And I will see you in the next one. Bye.